so today's quick session, we're going to be talking about patch management software and what patch management is all about. So just to give you an overview of patch management and why it's important, patch management is basically the updating of operating systems and third party applications. And why do we do that? So that we prevent vulnerabilities from occurring in our applications and our systems. So therefore preventing people from entering our environment or hacking us, et cetera. So in order to keep it secure, patching is critical for any organization or business. Um, so it doesn't just come to your windows. It's also important to patch your third party applications such as uh, Google Chrome or whatever application you got installed on that machine. Um, schedules. So we'll get into some best practices, but basically software that provides and caters for that specific need is patch management software. So let's have a look at an example of a patching so management software or a patch management tool. So we're looking at Pulseway. In the patch management module, um, you'll see something called policies, right? So patching should be straightforward and easy. There's a lot of people that still do it ad hoc and on demand. So for example, they'll log in using a remote control tool and update that system manually. Now imagine if you have 200 or 300 machines, it's not gonna be feasible. So you'll need a central tool to do it automatically and efficiently for you, right? It's taking your, so for example, if 200 computers, it might take you a week uh, to do it manually or 10 hours or so. But if you have a tool in place that could be done in a, well, instantly, um, all, all happens in the background without manual interventions. So what a patch management tool is what you'll do is you create a central policy. Um, so for example, we'll name our patch, uh, policy, patching, patching policy. Um, we might create a restore point in case there's something wrong with the, with the update. Uh, we might select reboot the machine if required and we'll always probably wanna know if I the logged in user five minutes before a reboot. You don't wanna shut down one of your users if you're still doing something critical, if your finance person is financing away, um, you don't want to get them kicked off the machine in the middle of the project. And you can also randomize update intervals just to uh, balance out the bandwidth. Um, so, for example, you'll set a schedule. So for operating systems, so your Windows, etc., Mac, uh, Linux, um, you'll probably, for Windows, for example, you probably want to do it uh, once a month. Uh, so a patch Tuesday, second week. So you might, might want to give it a so repeat once. Uh, let's do day of the week. And we'll say starting February, second week, which is patch Tuesday 15th. You might want to do it on the 17th at X amount of time. So we'll save that schedule. And then you'll create a third party schedule and a third party of those applications in your environment. Um, those you'll probably want to update on a daily basis. Uh, there's, there's a lot of applications, so you should, I'd recommend checking uh, for updates and installing the updates if available. Setting up rules is, should be simple when you have a central tool for patching, uh, making sure everything is updated and protected and there's no vulnerability. So for operating systems, you'll see normally a rule engine like this. Um, a lot of rule of severity is critical, approve and install uh, as an example, right? So that'll set off uh, so you can control what kind of updates you want to put on your machines. Uh, for third party applications, you'll have an engine similar to this. Um, well, you have a list of applications. So for example, here at Pulseway, we have 226 out of the box titles maintained by our core team. So. You can customize, so for example, if we know we have um, these applications, I'll select the exact applications that are my company, used by, by uh, our employees. I'll go ahead and select all of them that are applicable. I have the option of installing and keeping up to date, or if they're installed, I'll keep them up to date. Or if I want to even uninstall applications and install something else, I can do it directly from here. Now, all of a sudden, imagine I have 50, 100 or 200 machines, and I can control uh, the applications on that machine, and I can also keep them updated and refreshed. We know how bad user, users are at updating systems, so 
this this is the way to go. Um, I'll save my rules. I'm all happy, and I'll go ahead and I'll apply this uh, this policy we just created. So if we go agent status, I go okay. So how many machines have we got here? Um, okay, fifty four. I'll go ahead and sign all these 50 more machines will have just the new workstation policy or the policy we just created. Um, all of a sudden patching is sorted and it's going to be done automatically and you'll be notified if something goes wrong. And that's the beauty of a patch management uh, software tool. Thank you for tuning in.